29 here. I'm going to go through today how you can use your templates. Uh, there is another video that goes through how to create the templates. So the focus today in this video is how you're actually using the templates. And you can use them on different levels. You can use them on contacts, companies, or on your deals and orders inside the, uh, yeah, the sales section. So if you want to use it from here, you just open the deal in the right side panel that you want to send a document from. For example, a quote or a contract or a delivery specification. Then you just select create document. And then you come to the section where you can pick up. So let's say you want to send a quote. Then you can here pick up the quote. And if you believe that it looks good as is, then you can just click the preview and send it off. What you need to secure first is that uh, all the different parties that you have here uh, have an email address. So you can just type an email address here and then click done. So now you see we have a, an email address here. Click preview. And then once it's loaded, you can see that it picks up uh, the data from the software uh, as well with the tags. Uh, and now you have a few different options. Either you can download it as a PDF or you can send it off uh, via email. This requires that you have connected either Office 365 or uh, Google. And here you can type your email uh, just like this. Or if you have previously uh, saved a, uh, an email template, you can add that as, as well. And turn on the tracking here so you can get notified on your smartphone or here online when the receiver actually opens the email and then you can just add the person that you will that you will send it to just type your subject field here and click send uh, or you can send it off for e-signing ah, in this case uh, one is missing a name or an email so uh, got the warning and then we go back here Click the edit pencil here to, to give the person a first name, last name, done. Then we go here again. And now you see, now we can select what signing method. Uh, let's say like this, and then we can also select the, um, the actual signing, the language in the signing flow. So it can be English or Swedish. And then click OK, and it will be sent off for e-signing.